Now, the newly released U.S. State Department 2014 report on human rights practices highlights uh, terror groups, uh, rising conflicts, uh, conf uh, corruption, and poor governance as key problems around the world. Uh, but it also cites uh, some progress. VOA's Mary Alice Salinas has more. A rise in extremist groups like Islamic State, government crackdowns on dissent in countries like Egypt, and an increase in conflicts such as the one in eastern Ukraine. Events like this made 2014 a tough year for human rights, says U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who unveiled the report. The message at the heart of these reports is that countries do best when their citizens fully enjoy the rights and freedoms to which they are entitled. In the Middle East, the report blames Islamic State and other radical groups for horrific crimes, human crises, and the displacement of millions of people in Syria and Iraq. In Africa, government corruption and poor governance are blamed for creating fertile ground for groups like Boko Haram and al-Shabaab. When trust in government is lost, other, more harmful forces always try to fill the vacuum. In Europe, Russia is cited for tightening its grip on open media, civil society and dissenting voices. In Asia, China and Thailand are accused of stifling civil liberties. In Latin America, Venezuela is cited for harassing and incarcerating government critics. Other governments, Iran, Eritrea, Ethiopia and Saudi Arabia, are accused of targeting journalists, bloggers and non-violent critics. U.S. officials say that while the pushback against civil societies seeking change is disturbing, it also signals progress. It's threatening uh, to uh, many authoritarian governments and, and that can be very depressing. But at the same time, we have to remind ourselves that one reason why governments like Russia, like, like China, like Azerbaijan, like Ethiopia and so on are pushing back against civil society is that this kind of activism is extremely effective and it has moved the world towards greater respect for democratic freedoms. Secretary Kerry acknowledged U.S. problems with racial discord and unrest in the last year. It's a report that carries weight to Sarah Margon of Human Rights Watch. Because it's such an honest assessment, it's actually a great yardstick or a, a measuring tool, if you will, for outside actors and even for inside government officials to take a look at their policy prescriptions and hold themselves to account. Kerry expressed hope that some troubled regions will be prodded to make changes that will lead to greater human rights. Mary Alice Salinas, VOA News, the State Department.